Good morning. 649 ice baths today in a row. Every day. <laughs> Every single day since December 22nd, 2022. The plunge is 43 today. I feel it a little bit more last night. It warmed it up a little bit. It's still a little bit warm. It's 43. <laughs> Not that it's warm. It's 42 degrees outside. Woo! Sunday morning. Let's do it, guys. Do something difficult to start your Sunday. It's good for you. What do you do this difficult consistently that is good for you? Like an ice bath like this, right? I've done enough of these that uh, I can kind of keep my wits about me. I can kind of breathe and talk now better. Every now and then my voice goes away like it just did. But uh, yeah, 43 degree water takes your breath away. It's hard. You have to learn how to breathe, especially if you get in up to your neck. I see a lot of people that get in up to their mid chest or just above their waist. That's fine, but that doesn't, that's a lot easier. That doesn't hurt your breathing. It's your lungs and getting your chest and your neck in that makes it difficult to breathe. But I love the no back pain. I love how this ice bath makes me feel, guys. It really is amazing. It increases your immune system. There's so many different benefits. That's not what I wanted to talk about today. Today I wanted to talk about relationships just for a minute. I, you know, I scroll around just like I think most people do on social media every now and then, and I get a lot of videos in my feeds about relationships, men and women, and people cheating on each other and not being faithful and screwing around, and it's just like there's so much of that. And I realize statistics, what the statistics are, what they say about marriage and life, and it's really sad to me that people think it doesn't work sometimes and I want you to be confident and hear me out a good successful marriage can work guys you can have an amazing fairy tale life it is still possible my wife and I have been together 32 years we've never cheated on each other ever and I know people say well if one of you haven't cheated the other one has like you know that's not true those blanket statements like that you can have a love affair and still be excited to see each other and still be knowing that you're the first choice of that person. And they were the first choice for you. And it is possible. There's some luck involved. I will admit that. There's certainly some luck involved. But we dated for three and a half years. Date for a while. Get to know each other for a while. Talk. It's not just about the physical attraction. There has to be something else. There has to be some emotional concepts, some values that you share, the way you look at the world. like. Get to know each other really well before you get into the physical stuff. I think that's one real challenge people has is they get too physical too soon and that creates an unhealthy attachment and they don't know how to do it any other way. So they keep finding people that are wrong for them. But I wanted to give you some encouragement that it is possible to find the right person, to have an amazing life, an amazing marriage, to be head over heels in love and still attracted to the person 32 years later. It is possible, guys. It really is. It's amazing. So I want to give you some hope because all I see is negativity on social media, how terrible it is, how you can't find anybody and how people cheat on each other all the time and it doesn't work out and 50 some percent of marriages end up in divorce and if it doesn't end up in divorce, they don't like each other, they just stay together anyway. It's like, wow, that's so negative. And I realize that's probably true, but that means there is a bunch of them that actually do work. <laughs> so, all right guys, I hope it works for you. I really do. Have an awesome day. Make it a good Sunday. Do something difficult for yourself and keep working on yourself. That's the key, right? Personal development. Keep working on you and you'll deserve somebody better. All right, guys, take care.